Next up, we are joined by Lofty, the community officer here at LGU. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, how are you? How's things? Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, exciting time to be back on campus and mm -hmm. like see it getting a little bit busier. It's quite nice. Um, especially just sort of being back and like getting back into the swing of it. Yeah, so yeah. could you just talk us through your role obviously to people who might not know what a community officer is or yeah. what you might be doing type thing? Yeah, so um, basically I'm sort of responsible for everything that happens off of campus. Um, so from like housing, safety, um, transport, all that kind of thing. Um, so I have sort of like three main things I'm doing this year. Um, so the first one's all about COVID and making sure that everyone feels like connected to Leeds, whether they're on campus and they feel safe on campus or whether they're, you know, in a different country potentially doing their um, online lectures. Um, and my second one's all around sustainability. So really pushing the university to act on their pledges. They've got some pledges around like carbon neutral, um, around plastic. So a lot of it's around that and then doing things in the union as well. Um, and then my final one is all about student housing. So kind of just... Um, I feel like we have it every year, but like really pushing for like a change with student housing, um, kind of differences in not just letting us put up with, um, you know, like substandard housing just because it's a student house kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's that's my sort of like portfolio kind of thing. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we get it done by June, it'll be, it'll be good. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how do you think your role has changed this year in terms of COVID? Like, how, what have you had to adapt? Um, yeah, well, it's been really different. I mean, we started in June, um, all online, all remote. Um, so there's seven of us, the officers, and obviously like getting to know each other and working as a team, like so different online. Um, so we've kind of come up with like different ways of like making sure that we're we're still like getting to know each other and like um, having like catch up every day like as if we're in the office kind of thing and like some of us are in now but like not all of us um, so yeah and I definitely think there's a massive focus on just sort of everything we do and every decision that's being made how is that affecting students in whatever circumstance they're in because it's so different um, you know like well-being is taking such a forefront of everything um, and I think particularly with like housing a lot of it is focused around, right, well, you potentially are spending a lot more time where you live now. Um, so, you know, have people got the right setup for their study if they can't, if they're not coming onto campus as much, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's taken a completely different spin, which I don't think any of us were really expecting when we ran, obviously. But, um, yeah, no, it's, it's a good challenge. Like, it's, I think this is a good time to be representing students. And, yeah. yeah. So if there are students out there watching you, maybe do feel uncomfortable or uneasy about their like living situation or facing online lectures I mean what's the best sort of thing you would say to them what I can think they do? I think um, if you've got like real problems with your housing don't be afraid to ask your landlord to change your setup like these houses weren't really designed or a lot of a lot of student houses I think it's fair to say weren't really designed for someone to be in there all day every day um, so don't be afraid to ask and if you're having real problems then LU advice is like really good for housing issues um, I know I had some housing problems when I was um, like my second year and I just didn't think to go to advice for them but they are so knowledgeable and they're so helpful even if it's just like oh like my landlord gave me a stool to go on my desk and I was working from home thinking well I can't do this on a stool every yeah. day so I think just don't be afraid to ask um, and in terms of like things being online I think getting involved with like your course group chats and don't be afraid to sort of like put messages in there and um, try and suggest to people that you meet up for a coffee on campus come and use the spaces on campus we've got loads of like study spaces especially like common ground and um, like down that kind of area um, yeah come and explore and kind of get out and don't don't just stay in your four walls because you know it's not healthy it's not nice for anyone so do you have any maybe specific advice for freshers maybe who have just moved into their accommodation and obviously they're not being able to go out as much as they would like to? Yeah, um, yeah I think look into what your halls are doing in their social programmes because I know each hall is doing like a different kind of thing. Um, so some have got you know like big common rooms where they've got things going on, some have got I think I saw like a treasure hunt at one of them, um, like a cinema at one and then obviously there's loads of stuff on campus. I think getting out and exploring is like really important. Um, especially at this time when you don't have loads of uni going on. Um, so getting out and, you know, go out of the city, go and like, just have a wander around, just like really get to know where you're living. You'll feel so much more comfortable. Um, but yeah, like I'd say come down to LUU. I think um, 
there's so much space and there's so much stuff going on. We've got the outdoor cinema um, with the picture house, which was like really busy last night. It looks great. Um, they've got the stretch tent across from the union with the bar and the kitchen takeover in. Um, there's loads of spaces. So I think, yeah, like try and reach out and any person that you meet, you know, just make the most of that interaction and say, oh, do you want to go for a coffee? Do you want to go to the union? Do you want to go for a walk? Like whatever you're into. Yeah, and then in terms of students who may be feeling a bit uneasy about their current housing situation or like looking ahead to next year mm. um, and how they're going to connect with people that way, what would you sort of say to, to those? I think, um, I think I'd say like there's no rush with housing. I think every year we find that there's this big like oh you need to get a house before Christmas kind of like rush to get it all sorted and it's, it's so not true um, like even now there's really nice houses still available for like this year um, so don't worry about meeting people straight away it's such a myth that you're going to come you're going to meet your best friends on the first day and you know like settle straight in it's like and I think the pressure of that really gets like it got to me a lot in first year so I think that gets to people quite a lot um, so yeah I think like just don't feel like there's a rush um, you'll meet people, we don't know how the year's going to change, but um, everyone's in the same boat, so I think it's not not panicking early, and, you know, house hunting kind of starts, we start, like, thinking about it around November, but you don't need to sign a house, really, until, like, Easter. Like, there's yeah. loads, there's loads available, so I, I wouldn't worry about that kind of thing, but it's easy to say, easier to say than do, yeah. No, definitely, definitely. Thank you so much, Lottie. 